Hi everyone, how are you? It's me, Daddy May. It is Saturday night, the 16th of January, and it is 10.42 p.m. Holy smokies. Um, I haven't been home too long. So, here's what I did. Yesterday, actually, first of all, I met a guy through Facebook dating. And we started talking, messaging, calling on the phone, video chatting, etc. And then decided to meet up. Well, the thing is, um, he was in Indiana. So yesterday, I actually took a drive down to Indiana. And my reasoning really was everything is closed in Michigan because of COVID. So there was nowhere to meet. So, anyway, I paid for a hotel room through Priceline, and I actually had paid for two nights last night and what would have been tonight. But early today, um, I got a phone call while I was down there from another guy friend and I took the call and I talked to him and I didn't try to hide anything well this guy had a problem with the fact that I was talking to another guy and proceeded to say things like I'm a cheater and whatnot well no I'm really not a cheater because first of all we are in no type of relationship other than friendship. And last I knew, friends are allowed to have other friends. You're allowed to have male or female friends if you're a female or if you're a male. And so that rubbed me the wrong way. I was, I did not like what he had to say. And I didn't agree with it. And so I decided I didn't need someone like that in my life. So I decided I was gonna come back home to Michigan. And it's not that far of a drive, it was a two hour drive, or two and a half maybe. And yes, someone did know where I was going and what I was up to. So it's not like I'm a complete idiot and didn't tell anybody, because that's not the case. But if anything, it was a lesson learned, um, or maybe more than one lesson. For starters, you know, being single isn't all that bad. There's a lot of things that I do on my own. I have full control of the remote all the time. I can watch whatever I want, whenever I want. Um, I choose how I spend my money. I choose, you know, I mean, just living, going places, everything. I don't have to answer to anyone or you know, whatever. Now, I'm not saying that I prefer to be single, because I don't. Someday I do want Mr. Right. But I'm not just going to settle, and I'm not going to put up with someone who's insecure or um, feels like they own me, you know, if we're in a relationship. Because, no. I'm not going to I'm not going to just settle for any old guy. 
I'm not going to put myself in a situation where I'll be miserable or where um, someone will think they own my time and can control my time. That's not going to happen. It's just not. So, anyway, I've learned my lesson. And I've had people... You know, tell me I've not made great choice. I didn't make a good choice by doing what I did. Well, how in God's name are you supposed to meet anyone these days? All I hear of and see lately is people meeting their significant others online. And... They have a relationship online. They video chat and get to know each other. And then eventually they meet. You know, um, and especially right now, COVID throws a wrench in everything. Because here in Michigan, everything's closed. So, it's like, or I should say dine-in restaurants are closed. So, you can't meet and have coffee or anything like that. And even if there wasn't COVID, I'm not the type that goes and hangs out at the pub or the bar or, you know, whatever. So, I don't know. How do you meet someone? You know, some people I've heard have met at church. Well, that's all fine and dandy except for my church. Most of the people are significantly older they're like grandparent age to me and if they're not they're married with kids I don't even I don't even think I know and besides that with COVID churches and even meeting in person So I don't know. I mean, I was on some singles groups in Facebook. And I met a couple guys through through that avenue. But that again, that's online. But I do agree, I am not going to be the one to do the legwork next time. If someone wants to meet me, then they're going to drive their happy butt up. At least meet halfway. So, yeah. Lesson learned. Dating is so challenging. And, I mean, yeah, I've been divorced almost three years now. But I haven't done a whole lot of dating yet. And I was married 26 years. And the dating I did before I was married was in high school. I mean, so different than now, nearly 30 years later. It's just not easy. And no, I'm not perfect. And was that a risky move? Probably. But living life every day is is some sense of risk. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not perfect. But, I don't, I don't know how I feel about it all. I mean, I was a little bit disappointed that he started talking that way and started acting that way. But like my aunt said, that's a warning sign. That's not someone you want to be with. So, yeah. Not going to happen. I don't know. I am just going to work on being patient and letting things happen in God's time and His plan. I don't know what His plan is. It's not mine to know. Sometimes I wish I did. But what kind of life would that be? So. Q. 
keep any negative comments to yourself because I've already heard enough and I already know I mean I'm not I'm not a little kid believe it or not I am 49 years old almost 50 oh have mercy no but seriously if you've recently in the last five years or whatever have just started dating how did you meet your significant other um, someone else I know met their significant other through playing online games they were gamers both of them were gamers and they met through some sort of game room or whatever I don't know and they're married now and they've been married for like eight years or something I don't know my sister my younger sister met her current husband online. Of course, he was more local. Um, and now they're married happily, living in Hawaii. So, what's the secret to meeting a man these days? I don't know it seems like so many of them meet online or through some sort of dating app it seems to be the way it is these days Whatever. all right I'm done talking I'll be back in a couple days with a way in which probably won't be great but I'm gonna do it anyway all right you guys peace love happiness bye, -bye.